Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. This is episode 99, we're getting close to that 100. And I was I was thinking that I was going to do the um, the Flashpoint in episode 100, but what is 100? It's just a number. I don't think we're going to be ready for it by episode 100. That means we have to get a lot done today and then next episode run over here and do it. I don't think we're ready for that. We want I want to get the other mechs up and running that we just picked up. So um, what am I planning on doing? Let's have a look at the mech bays real quick. So we picked up a couple of mechs, picked up the, uh, the uh, Kerberos, um, it doesn't have much left in it, but uh, we can get that repaired and up and running. It's going to cost a bit, and then we've got the Awesome here as well, and the Atlas is being repaired right now. So uh, I'm going to take some advice from, uh, once again, from uh, the community, and I think the planets that we're on, I think we're going to take all the missions. Um, now I know our main pilots are tired here, but no big deal. Uh, let's have a look at the mech bay here. So we've got a bunch of mechs that we can still run, right? So we're going to go ahead and take some missions here. Even though our pilots are fatigued, we've got um, have the, we got like four of the contracts we can take. So we've got the coupe mission. Our main pilots can probably run that. Asset denial. Our second lads can actually run these last few. And I think I want to get the vulture out, uh, the mad dog out and running and see how that operates. Um, so we're going to take a couple of missions today and do that. Uh, I'm going to save this one. I don't think we'll do this right away, but let's do, let's take asset denial. Uh, three and a half skulls. Um, actually, you know what? Let's go with stolen goods first. It's an these are both ambush convoys. So let's go with this one first. Because um, I want to run the vulture, but I want to do it in a manner that's relatively safe. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Let's just do this one. All right. Uh, we're going against the convoy. I want to make a few sea bills here. Um, two to ten. No big deal. It's Comstar. We might get something good. I don't know. All right. We're going to bring the main lance out of here. I know they're tired, but no big deal. We have to get them back into battle. Okay, Hannibal the Cannibal. Let's get Avalanche. Uh, we're going to put you at the end here like we normally do, Gocho. And then let's bring Judge in. And let's run a few different mechs today. So, um, leave the King Crab out. We don't need it for this mission. Um, let's bring in the Orion. I want to see how that's going to run. Um, I don't know. We could run art artillery, but I don't think we're going to do that today. Let's bring in the uh, Mjolnir. Let's bring in the Exterminator and the Mad Dog. Uh, we're going to give um, Avalanche the Mad Dog just because of the hit and run. Um, she's got single target only, right? Um, and Phantom Mech, so she can dodge and evade if we have to, if this thing's not you know, holding its own. I think it'll be fine, though. So let's deploy this Lance and get this done. Oh, good. Ah, uh, well, got to be a challenge. What are those? Trees? They are trees. Ah, well, we're from a jungle planet. I don't know why you're complaining. Mad Dog, pair of ATM 12s. Got our Orion with the double racks. Good to go. You know, it's funny. The 65 ton Mac with the extra ATM 3. Um, and better speed than the vulture. Let's go. Plus better stealth. I think I may want to reanalyze what we got in the Mad Dog. On my way. Double time. Get up there as fast as you can. God, these guys are fast. Drillson. Stinger. Mostly vehicles. Missile carrier. Two missile carriers. Three missile carriers. Oh, wonderful. Thanatos. Another missile carrier. Four missile carriers. Ah. Okay, I need that vehicle gone. We cannot get a direct line of sight on it, can we? Well, you're our fastest mover. I think we gotta drop uh, some indirect fire. No idea how much armor this thing's got. Uh, gonna hold off. With 
Well, somebody had an ATM. Or AMS, I mean. I meant AMS, I said ATM. Acknowledge. Uh. Man, we barely have any ammo. Oh, I took a bit of damage. I'm gonna run the exterminator up this way to catch this guy. If we can get direct fire with HE, we should be able to take him out. That's right, buddy. You reconsider your life choices. Well, you know, something told me I should just been taking all of all C bills on this one, but no biggie. We'll make those C-bills up. Maybe we can get some engines out of this. Okay. I guess he's the guard. I wonder if it's the four missile carriers or the... Uh, they got a sensor lock on me. The four missile carriers may be the... Um, ooh. Maybe the uh, convoy here. Oof. Yeah, well. Yeah. So I've been thinking about the next series. And I've been thinking about um, what the... Th there's two different th two different aspects. One is the pilots and what the theme of the pilots and, the, and everything is going to be. And the, the company name and all that. And then the second thing is where we're going to start and what we're going to do. So my first thought was going to be that uh, we would have this as, let's get into here. The next group would be um, either one of two things. One, uh, from the inner, like the periphery, or two, they would be um, clanners. And the clanners would end up being, let's just double check it. Let's go HE on this one. Fire. Yeah, man. The clanners would be. Um... Sorry, trying to think. Think and fight at the same time can sometimes be difficult. Should be doing both, but you know. Um, let's switch to HE again. See if we can get, knock this guy out. I don't like those SRM carriers. So the the clanners would be from the uh, um, I think it's like the the, the shadow clan or the shadow case or whatever it would be. They're like the pirates of the the clans. Um, I hear ya. And that would be the just figure out where we're moving here. Nah, that's a little better I think. Um, so they would be the. Um, Kind of like a bandit cast or whatever you want to call it, and that would be the uh, the main group. Sorry, I'm I gotta stop thinking and fighting. Let me just shoot first, and then we'll talk. Got it. Okay, we penned. Wow, we need to get closer. Yes, um, yeah, so the clan would be um, uh, the shadow cased. And we'd be going against all other clan members, right? So it's just sort of targets of opportunity, taking what we can from wherever we can. And let's finish up this stinger if we can. Okay, nice. Um, and that would be the goal of that one. Once again, it would be an entire clan fight. You know, we would start off in clan space, probably work, work, work our way to in the inner sphere space, just hitting clans along the way. I don't know. We would figure that one out. Uh, the second one would be we'd start off in the periphery somewhere. Um, and um, the idea for my idea for the second series would be trying to run it so that the Argo has got two leopard dropships. And the idea was that there is the left talon and the right talon, and it's two two groups of the same 
group. So I would run base. It would be two series. Well, sorry, one series with two games running side by side. And the lances couldn't intermix, obviously, because I can't sh share stuff between games. But we would consider them part of the same Argo. So wherever we started, we would be on the same planet. Same planet start, same everything. Just that the goals we would be, we would be taking would be towards the same end, so to speak. So we would run kind of like a... Um, uh, an art, like an art, a role-playing kind of campaign where we're trying to go after a certain goal, much like I did the very first um, with Cold Forge, my very, very first series. Um, kind of have like a, you know, I, um, what do you want to call it? Some kind of story behind what we're doing. That would take a little bit more work and be a little bit more involved, but I think it would be fun. Um, and we would have, so basically we would have two dropships on the same Argo, but only launching one at a time. And what I would try and do is you know, launch both of them in one episode. So one lance would be doing one thing and another lance would be doing another thing. They would never be together fighting, obviously, but that would kind of be the idea. And we would have one one uh, company name, but it would be like left talent, right talent kind of thing where there was just two, two of the same talent. And my kind of, my thought behind that was like um, the uh, Zulu Impi, uh, where they had the horns of the bull, left horn, right horn, and then this, you know, the head, the center, and then they had, would have a unit in reserve. But that would kind of be the idea where it would be, you know, like two talons of the same unit trying to achieve the same goal. Whether we were pirates or whatever, that would be a different story. So I just have to come up with something on there. Um, the shadow cast idea still kind of come up, coming up with something for that. I don't know what the main story behind that would be, other than being like bandits, I guess. But you know, Got it. bandits is just bandits, right? We'd have to come up with some kind of story for that. Um, 54, 47. Let's go after this guy. Okay, I'm on it. Scored a critical hit. Anyway, those are my two ideas. Let me know what you think. You can drop some comments in the comment section down below. Uh, wow. No, I think we need to do this. Uh -huh. Yeah, one hit. Nice. Bye -bye. What's up, boss? Maybe we can get some Thanatos parts out of this. I've got eyes on the target. Oh, thanks. Really? Because, you know, I <laughs> had no idea where they were. So glad he's so helpful. Uh, let's save the AC from way of a better chance to hit. Let's just fire this way. Yeah, he's, he would erect a lot of them. Nice. Ah, shit. I knew this was too easy. Anyway, yeah, if you got any ideas, feel free to throw them up. Um, but like I said, it's only going to be one series next time. I'm having a little bit, as you can tell, having a little bit difficult time running two at this moment. I might pick up a second series partway through. We'll see how it goes. It depends on how much free time I'm getting again. Uh, but I do want to do other series as well. Um, uh, I've been kind of in my sort of brain dead time been playing a game called Seven Days to Die. So I think I'm going to start a series for that. Um, it'll just be an inter intermittent one, play it here or there. I've been, when I've been uh, finishing these episodes up, I've been uh, kind of playing it as I'm, oh god, a Thunderbolt 20 carrier. Good thing he's sensor locking. I've been kind of playing it while I've been exporting from uh, Premiere. Uh, let's get into here. Uh, yeah. Let's see if we can get rid of this guy. Nice. Enemy vehicle. That had to happen. Anyway, so, yeah, that's what, kind of what I'm thinking. Had somebody ask me on one of my posts as well, too, about um, 
doing a, a collaboration, multiplayer collaboration. I'm open for that kind of stuff. I have no problem with that. But once again, like I said, it's time, right? It all comes down to how much time I'm going to have. And right now, it's not a whole lot. So as much as I'd like to do it, I, I, there's no way I would be able to commit 100%. Let's uh, Warlord this, see how much damage we can do to this guy. Yep. Can you share a little bit of our culture with this guy, please? We've been sharing our culture with you all morning. See ya! Loving the ATMs, I gotta say. But having two ATM max like this, I don't know. I mean, I guess it's okay. Here comes all those SRMs. Yeah, baby. Meal near for the win. What can I do for you? These racks are still glorious. This is what? The Bola Invictus Extended Range LRM Carrier. Uh -huh. Let's remove this guy, please. Rectum. On the move. Okay, hammer this guy. Only one hit. Wah! What? Okay, I got another Drillson coming in. Uh, also, I think it was Gregory Blackthorne that mentioned um, once the series wraps up, he'd like to see the uh, all the pilots and what all their stats and everything are. I think that's a fantastic idea. I think we can go through the Hall of Fame too and and reminisce over all the pilots that we lost. I'll do that for both series, for this one and for uh, uh, Night Witches, just so we can see where everybody's at. Um, on the one of the Battletech, Battletech Facebook pages that I'm on, um, they were asking who's the most, yeah. you know, uh, who's the most, um, uh, I don't know, bloodthirsty or most successful pilot they've ever had. And it, everyone was saying glitch, and I'm like, no way, man. Mockingbird or uh, Megasaur, but we'll get a chance to see who's the better of the two. Here we go. Yeah, baby. Move her down. I've also got a question too. So I've been introducing my son to the tabletop you. battle tech. Um, and I think my, my, my youngest might want to get into gaming too, but uh, I don't have any of the original counters. Um, Yeah, baby. So I don't have any of the original stand-up cardboard cutouts, and I'm and I don't have any of the original uh, model like uh, models that I had originally. Original models originally. Anyway, so um, my question is this: I have, um, ouch, I have um, a tabletop game called Advanced Squad Leader. I don't know if anyone's played any uh, tabletop World War II military games, but Advanced Squad Leader was one of the best squad games I've ever played in my entire life. It still is. Um, let's go after this guy. Switch this around. A little better chance to hit. Uh, so I have all my map boards for that. So I'm planning on using those for Battletech, um, but I'm looking for... Um, counters basically cardboard cutout counters not the stand-up kind but um sort of the the they're basically square map kind that they just you know sit like as a cardboard counter on a on a tabletop with a icon on top of it so i'm looking for something like that with battletech figures on it like one centimeter by one centimeter which is just like i don't know three eighths of an inch i don't know if you guys are metric or not i'm metric so centimeter by centimeter or three eighths or two so it's, that's like three three fifths or, or sorry two fifths of a centimeter sorry two fifths of an inch um so yeah i don't know if you if you know any place to get counters like that or you have any ideas 
throw them out because I'm gonna have to make some counters for for playing ba like tabletop BattleTech. So yeah, just thought I'd ask. Well, as we finish up these vehicles and get some lousy salvage, maybe the Thanatos will have something. I don't know. Come on, use guys. I should be able to finish these up next turn. I think. These racks, man. I'm shocked that they're not uh, jammed. What do you need? So I do wish this um, Mad Dog was a little faster. I mean, it's not bad, I guess. Yeah, you know, maybe it's just me. I think it was through the trees I was having an issue with it, but... It's actually pretty quick. It looks like it's fine. I mean, I, I think the exterminator's a little faster, but... Better chance to hit with these guys. The big issue I have is the lack of ammo. One more for the scrap heap. Lack of One ammo. So we're going to have to get some uh, patchwork materials, I think, for it. Yeah, now the racks are both jammed. Got it. <laughs> I said as the... Oh, I'm surprised the they're surprised the racks aren't jammed. That's totally amazing. And then I go, I go to use it, and they're a totally jammed. Fucking story of my life. All right, it's multi-target. See if we can get both these guys. All right, A will take uh, one ER. B will take one ER. That to A. That to A. That to B. And fire. And we got neither. Yeah, but you got greedy. Oh, sorry, I got greedy. That's uh, multi again. Uh, B will take two. We'll give him those two. And fire. So we got the tag on him. Oh, for Christ's sake. Yeah, you think? Or at least vehicles take damage in the fire now. Yeah, once again, I'm going to throw up another set of kudos for the Rogue Tech team. These guys, just phenomenal. And I noticed they've integrated some of the uh, the um, thinking behind Rogue Tech into the new uh, 1.6 update for Battletech, so... Not the same way as it is in Rogue Tech, but you can definitely see where they've uh, borrowed ideas from Rogue Tech, that's for sure. I mean, I could be wrong. Maybe they didn't borrow any ideas. Maybe they had already had it planned um, and just hadn't implemented it yet. I could be completely wrong. Um, but it just seems that way, that's all. Why is the circle around the, the Mad Dog so tiny? It's bizarre. Come on, Mr. Vehicle. Figure out what you're doing before you die. So we did okay on this one. I think I feel safe in uh, not repairing the mechs on this one. So we can just use them again right away. Once this vehicle moves. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Confirm. You can have this guy. Copy that. And stay down. Waiting on you, Commander. Both racks are up. Say goodbye. Not as many hits as I would like, but whatever. I feel bad about Don't feel bad. Mission successful. Don't feel bad about shooting the little guy. It's either him or you. All right, 700,000. Nice. Little bit of damage, but not a whole lot. So I think we're going to hold off repairing. So we can just jump right back in with these guys if we want to use them again. Uh, actually, you know what? I think I will repair them. Because I don't think we're going to need those. we got plenty of other mechs we can use. Alright, let's see what we can get C-Build-wise. 
how much are these worth? 330, mortar 8, 290. God, it's a lot of SRM2s and 6s. Thunderbolt 20s are how much? 560. You know what, though? God, as much as I hate to take an armored cowl, we don't have any cockpit mods. Well, that's 325,000 right there. Missile dub double plus. Accuracy, increased range. Indirect fire we don't need. Mm. Okay, well, there we go. Let's get rid of this. Tracker sensors. As much as I want those du prototype double heat sinks, we don't really have a double heat sink kit. Let's take that though. Is there a kit here though? Did I miss it? I don't think I missed it. No, I didn't miss it. Uh, we definitely gonna need CBLs to fix the mech for the upgrade our mechs and stuff. So I'm gonna keep the XL engine for now. As much as I want to grab the prototype double heatsink, I think we're better off going this route. Let's just confirm. Okay, a bunch of stuff we can sell. Not bad. Oh, 14,000. That's nothing for repairs. Let's just repair it. All right, so, because we got other mechs we can use. All right, we're going to take the mainlands down now. We're going to do that coupe mission. But before we do that, let's go and get these other two mechs here upgrading. We know we're going to do it now. We've still got another, like, 500,000 to add to this once we get the XL engine and other junk sold. So we've got enough C-bills here. So let's get the uh, OMGP refitted. It's got the BFG 9000 unfortunately in it, but we don't really have any ammo for that, so it's just going to be a big uh, a big thing we can't use. But you know what? It is another mech, so Strip the gear off it. Leave the armor where it is. Uh, let's confirm this. Don't know if we're going to need it for that fight, but we'll have it if we do. And then if we never use it or whatever, we can just scrap it. it. Alright, awesome. Because we can just use it as a tank mech. Just throw a whole bunch of, like, I don't know, pulse lasers or some crazy-ass shit in there that we're not going to use any. Like, you know what I mean? Just something, just to get in there and tank it up. Uh, let's strip the gear. Let's max the armor. 610,000. It's really nothing. Actually, did it have a core already installed? I can't remember. I don't think it did. No, it didn't. Okay, that's fine. Okay, get those repairing. So that's pretty much what we made in the last mission. Once we sell off the other junk... All right, so we got, what, four, nine mechs still we, or sorry, yeah, nine mechs we can still use. We can take a couple more missions here. So let's go take a look here, contracts. And we're going to take the five skull. Coupe mission, negotiate, full salvage. Take the main lance down. Let's go do this. We'll see how it goes. If we got time, we will take um, the secondary lance out again. Everyone's getting tired, I know, but... We should be able to handle this particular one. God, uh, oh, let's judge. Sorry, I want Rhino. There we go. We're a little tired, but I think we'll be okay. And let's go with the standard loadout. And let's go. Ah. Uh. All right, well... Two lances in a tight valley. Hooray. So, as we were dropping down here, I was just thinking, you know, we could take the idea of the dual lances and um, run it in a clan campaign. Clan shadow campaign. That's a possibility. Okay, our ECMs will work best together, so let's just do this. What's up, boss? Um, let's reserve. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Looks like enemy reinforcements. 
What? This is five skull. They're running out of shiz? Is that what's happening? Ten four. Godzilla. Fulcrum. A Mackie. Wow, I haven't seen one of those in quite a while. Um. This should be good. Let's try and pull the lighter guys out of the battle first. As we used to say in Lotro, when you're fighting a uh, um, in a fellowship battle, kill the ads first. Yes, Commander. Kill the ads. Focus on the boss. Oof. Nice, those heavy mediums hit. I think our ECMs are doing a good job here, most likely. Wow, three heavy mechs on him, we couldn't even kill him. What the hell? Just one tactical missile carrier. What the hell is that? Whatever that heavy missile carrier is, it's got to go. Can they see us? We'll find out here in a second. This guy fires. Nope. Can you finish this guy off for me, please? Thank you. I need a new target. It's okay, you'll get one next turn. Just give it a second. Just drop down here for now. Yeah, they can't see us. Thank God for friggin' outstanding ECM, man. I don't think Mackie's got heavy armor, does it? Got a lot in the head. Binary laser, medium laser pluses, and a rack pirate 20. Woo! Let's just shoot him. I don't know what's more dangerous now. The Mackie or the Godzilla? We got a Pirate Rack 20. We haven't used it really. Oh, come on. Just hit him. Okay, three hits on him. Commander. Let's reserve you. We are not really reserved, but Rolling. Let's keep our distance from these guys, though. All right, here we go. Got some tags. Screw you. Gonna die for that. What's up, boss? 
I got a, a shit near here that I need you to kill for me, please. I copy. Think you could just get in with the Ultra 20 because you're overheating here. Uh, 560 armor. Let's just go all out and get rid of them. Ooh, missed with one. Target's taken a critical hit. Sure has. In the front, okay. <sighs> okay, that's a lot of damage. Not much armor left in that location. You think? Yeesh. Rax jam too. Well, the good thing about that is we can get uh, uh have a seat. You look tired. The good thing about that is we can get some more rack ammo, or maybe if we can get a second rack 20. You know, what'll be hilarious if we get a second rack 20, we can drop two rack 20s on something. Okay, let's try to strip this leg off him. Nice. God, it's so bizarre looking. Waiting for orders. Well, at least you get your stability back, bud. Regain footing. Good to go. Got it. No big deal. Your rack is back now. That's a miss. That's all right. That's all right. I don't know how much he's got left here. He's been hitting the head though. I might be able to strip his head. I kind of want this Godzilla to move out a bit more so I can get behind him with the Ultra 20s. Ah, Fulcrum. Damn it. I hate fighting in this valley. See ya. That's a kill. Let's just stay in the trees here. I'm there. Think you can kill that sleep near for me? Might be able to. Fire everything? Affirmative. Thank you. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Depending on what goes on with this Godzilla, we might be able to kill the, the Fulcrum and the other sleep near this turn. Depends on where that sleep near moves. That's that missile carrier I'm worried about. I have no idea what's on it. The name says Doom to me, so <laughs> I gotta be careful here. Position confirmed. Get to where that guy can't see me and hopefully can wipe this guy out. Nope. Guy's got a lot of armor.
My heat sinks can't vent fast enough. I'm taking damage. Barely hit, Commander. He's pissing me off now. Let's get rid of him. Well, at least their vehicles are going to take damage. Yeah, so the no, the new uh, collateral missile damage seems kind of interesting. It's kind of a, I don't want to say a ripoff, but kind of the same idea as the uh, um, the swarm ammo from uh, Rogue Tech. Mech is on fire! See ya! Oh yeah! Pieces flying. Frag the vehicle. Thank you. Thank you very much. Rack is down again. Do I? <sighs> Just sit still. Don't need to go anywhere. Sup, dude? Um. Okay, we should be able to kill this guy now. Then it'll just be the uh, Godzilla. Let's just make sure. Now we can take our time with the Godzilla. I don't think he's going to be able to see us. And when we strike, it's going to be very bad for him. Okay. If he can see you, see if we can get him to come back around this way. Okay. Start on him. Not the best chances to hit, but we're going to go after it. Okay, a couple hits. No direct line of sight, eh? Alright. That's alright. We got some solutions for that. God, she's a murderer. Swear to God. That hit something good. Yeah, I know. I noticed that. You're still my favorite pilot ever. Megasaur is close second. But I think Mockingbird, I gotta say, overall has been my favorite pilot. She was through a dry spell there for a bit, but she's been pretty damn impressive. Pretty damn accurate. I love how the whole camera shakes. When the racks go off, yes, it's all yours, buddy. Oh, he's on the ground, isn't he? There we go. Tango down. Too bad we can't get more Godzilla parts, but it is what it is. 
All right, 165,000, not bad. Not bad at all. And yeah, we took a little damage. Oh, man, that Rack 20, the Irby Rack 20 really hammered us. I mean, I tried it out for a while, but it just wasn't that amazing. Wow, we barely have any Godzilla parts. It's not worth taking it. We do have Mackie parts, but eh. Did the Rack 20 survive? It did. Is there more rack ammo? That's the question. Because I don't think we have a lot of... We have a fire control system goss already. Double goss ammo. We got four rack 20 double ammos. So if we were to go with two rack 20s, we would have five sets of ammo at 12 rounds each, which would be 60 rounds for... Yeah, I mean, we could outfit the king crab that way. As ridiculously crazy as it sounds, I think that's what, it's 20 tons though. At this sp stage in the game, I don't think we can not do this. Let's confirm it. All right, some stuff to sell, XL engine to sell. We didn't get any more ammo. Ah, well, but still, that's not bad. All right, I'm not even looking at the map anymore. 253,000. Yeah, it's all coming on six packs, Mac. Not much we could do about that. All right, let's just do one more quick mission on this planet. We've got 26 days left, and then we'll jump, get this stuff repairing as we go. Uh, most of these mechs, with the exception of the uh, of the Timberwolf, took um, minimal damage. Now we do have enough, right? Pretty sure we got enough to run more one, run one more mission. Come on, getting sluggish. Oh yeah, we got plenty of mechs here. So let's go to contracts. Let's get the second lance in for a battle again. Um, stolen goods, ambush convoy. Sure, why not? Intelligence agent. It's less sea bills. But a chance for better gear, I think. Rating a facility. So it's, it's going to be two lances. This will be a lance of vehicles plus something. This is against who? Comstar. This is against local government. Let's go against Comstar. Let's go full salvage because it's really the only way I think we're going to make money off this one. And we don't need to go crazy. So actually let's bring in a couple pilots we haven't brought in before. So let's bring in Hannibal and let's bring in Gaucho here because they're two of the better pilots. And let's bring in Eagle and Giant. They both haven't had a chance to run yet. So let's get them into the battle. Get some XP going. And let's put the Orion back in the hands of Hannibal. Let's put the Zeus... Um, put the Black Knight in Gaucho's hands. Eagle can run the Zeus. And we'll put the Catapult in Giant's hands. I don't think it really matters. Don't need the King Crab for this one. So let's deploy. All right. So once again, I was thinking as we were coming down here, um, as I usually do, I thought we had to rescue data too. Ah, oh, whatever. Um, so uh, as we were coming down here, I was thinking they were saying that, you know, the city tech um, or the city biome is opening up the... Um, kind of need for using jump jets again. I'm thinking to myself, you know what? No, it's not. What's What it's really opening up is the need for LRMs and artillery. Anything with indirect fire. Because if you just hide behind a building and use indirect fire on your enemies, well, why do you have to jump over the building to actually put yourself in harm's way? You don't, right? We do. What do we have? Herb mech. For 
Yeah, let's move in. Pedal to the metal. We've got another Urbamech. The 63 double L, that's the Goss rifle version, isn't it? I think so. Let's wreck it. Caught you flat footed, buddy. I want to get a lance of all Irby's okay. as my starting lance next time. Oh man, really? Ah, sure. Just dump everything on him. See if you get his head. Don't know if that was a headshot, but sure as hell killed him. Yeah, Commander. Let's hit this guy, please. Thank you. Oh, craterdom. Enemy down. Waiting on you, Commander. Don't need to tell me twice. Ah, uh, really? After that last battle, Commander. it's just not letting you get two mechs in a row. All right, shoot him. Engaging. Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! Here it comes. That looked like a critical. This was kind of beneath our skill. Waiting for orders. But we need the sea bills, so let's just push it forward. Affirmative. Let's get this one over quickly. What else do we got over here? <laughs> it's another urban mech. Our racks are still jammed. What now? Okay. Shoot him. Maybe things are looking up. Maybe they are. Ah, let's just get all the way forward here. What's up, boss? Double time. Let's go. Let's go. Eh? Oh. I will have to say after this match, genuinely, Urban Max do not <laughs> do not like uh, arrow and thumpers. I mean, most people don't, but it's like they're a magnet for arrow and thumper damage. Here we go. Copy that. Firing alpha strike. Good to go. Can you crater that last mech for me, please? Let's move. Crater him. Oh, not quite. Reporting. Critical hit. I'll give you one crack. I'll give him the. I'll give you the last crack on him. Commander. You get the last oh, crack. Wow. Stand up, buddy. Stand up and die. Waiting for orders. Still got a few turns before we get there. Thought we had to pick up the data. Hey. hey. Here it comes. Technology. 
Oh, he's taking it like a champ. That hit something good. Taking it like I'm a champ. Oh, you got lots left. Don't worry. On my way. Double time. Just a different type. I hear ya. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. Okay, I think we got one more turn after this. Yes, Commander. I'm not gonna do that last <laughs> two and a half scholar, because if it's like this one, it's just Ready for order. gonna be a waste of time. Stay in the open. Location confirmed. Let's thumper him. Uh, Inferno? Sure. Confirmed. Not even going to survive the first hit. That's a kill. Thank you. Thank you very much. If you say so. Good to go. Okay, can you get in there? You certainly can. There we go. Standing by. Confirmed. Holding. Hey. Oh, that was easy. The asset has been secured and is ready for retrieval. Well, at two and a half skulls, I was really expecting medium mix, but what can you do? All right. Well. Wow. Called shot. Modifier increased by 10%. We've got one of these already. We're not even using it, so. Uh, prototype double heat sinks? Really? No heat I guess we CT'd everybody. No heat sink kits, huh? Well, I should take the patchwork. And three of these guys. That's actually not a bad... I thought we were going to get junk, but that's actually not a bad haul off this. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven urban mech parts. Not quite enough to put one together, though. Okay, you know what? <sighs> oh, 2C, Really? Okay, we'll check this out in a second because I got a, I got a bone to pick with the uh, craters of Rotec. Okay, so in the top left-hand corner, you know how some, you sometimes get those little sayings? One thing, one of them, the one I just read just said, never make anything simple and efficient when you can make it complex and wonderful. The first thing I thought of was the German tanks during World War II. Very complex, very wonderful, but the fact that they made them complex lost them the war. It, it literally lost them every tank battle. When you figure the complexity of their machines and the amount of time it took to repair them, you take a tank like a Sherman or a T-34 and how easy it was to fix or replace them, it makes more sense to make it simplistic uh, and efficient than it is to make it complex and wonderful. Yes, everyone remembers the Panzers. Everyone remembers you know, the Panther, the, the Tiger One, the Tiger Two. Everybody remembers those tanks, but that's not when, what wins you the war. It really isn't. So I would rather have something very simplistic and very efficient. That's just my my two cents. Throw some comments in the comment section down below. Tell me what you think, but that's what I believe. Anyway, uh, let's have a look at that urban mech now. We're going to end up selling it, but let's have a look at it. Maybe we can pick up some more pro double heat sinks or something off this thing. Oh, I guess we can if it's a clan mech. Let's have a look here. It doesn't look like it's got much in it. Doesn't look like it's got much. Oh, it's got an Ultra 10. Damn, man. Ultra 10 and some ammo, some heat sinks we can sell. Yeah, I'm not going to repair it, but uh, let's just scrap her. Should give us a hundred and something thousand, probably. Come on. Getting sluggish. It's been running for a while. All right. Scrap it. Ah, 375,000. Nice. Puts us back over 3 million. We spent a lot on repairs today. We went down about, what, 400,000 or so? 500,000 today in repairs? Uh, from the total that we had before. I think we started off at 3.2. So maybe we're about the same, roughly. But we got a lot to sell. So we should be around 5 million, I think, by the time the next episode starts up. 
So what I'm going to do between episodes is jump to a new planet, get some new missions. Uh, everyone should be back by then. I'll manage our tasks a little better here, make sure all our mechs, or most of them are back. I'll get the Atlas and the Kerberos and the Awesome uh, on their way to being repaired so we can get some some shiz in them and get them working. Um, but yeah, most mechs, are, you know, with the exception of the uh, Timberwolf, which, which took a lot of damage, uh, should be back relatively quickly. Uh, you know, well, they'll all be back between jumps, that's for sure. And these guys will be worked on. So um, when we come back next time, we'll be in a, another Five Skull world. Maybe a Comstar world, but we're heading towards that uh, Flashpoint. Um, a few more episodes, I think, before we get there, we take on that Five Skull long uh, Flashpoint. So that should be good. Um, not sure how many more episodes, but it's the Flashpoint's over in 60 days. So i got to minimize our amount of jumps, jump times and get close so that we can actually get to it before um, it goes away. So yeah, that'll be uh, that'll be the goal. All right. So we're gonna end the episode there. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe, and you can drop any comments in the comment section down below. You know, what do you think about uh, the idea? Um, the ideas I was throwing forward for the next series. Um, still mulling things around a bit, but uh, you know, we'll just see how it goes. All right. And so until next time, we'll see you all later.